This is your daily news update. Newsman Dennis Daly reports on some of today's current events. Now, with the latest update, here's Dennis. Hi, and thanks again, everybody. It has not been the greatest 4th of July weekend for a lot of people working with NASA and NASA's prime contractors. As you may have heard, the shuttle's days are numbered, and the big company that has provided most of the equipment and infrastructure for the shuttle, United Space Alliance, says it's laying off another 15% of its workforce. Now, the cuts were not unexpected, considering that the shuttle is expected to end its life sometime next spring. The company, not surprisingly, is based in Houston and has over 8,000 employees employees, but it also has facilities in Florida and Alabama. NASA currently is planning two final shuttle flights to the space station, one in November and one in February. Despite knowing that layoffs were coming, the Space Shuttle Program employees have had a great deal of success in the past couple of years. Now, if you're old enough to remember when the shuttle plan was announced, there was to have been a launch every month one from Florida, and one from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. Well, the shuttle started having problems, and they realized that it just couldn't be turned around that quickly. But things have been going more smoothly in recent years. There have been eight flights during the past 14 months. That has set records, and there have been very few problems with the shuttle. A lot of people say they are sad to see it go, even if they're not losing their jobs because of its demise. Have a great weekend. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily 4th of July weekend news update.